get done. It's like boom, crash. Boom, crash. That's the way one Boise resident described what you are looking at right here, right now. Part of a tree that was standing in their neighbor's yard came crashing through their roof. It was all part of last night's intense windstorm. No doubt it woke you up. It left a trail of damage all over our area. This morning, Lonnie Schott and Mary Manili woke up to this right here. That tree still leaning against their home. Well, the storm started about uh, 1.30 this morning and the winds grew stronger and stronger. And at 1.50, uh, we heard this big, like a freight train rushing and then a big yeah. thump. And then uh, one of, a limb came through one of the bedrooms. It was very scary to tell you the truth. I was in the bedroom and all of a sudden I heard that storm and the, the branch came through. I tore the tree up by the roots. <laughs> Root ball just pulled right up. It's incredible. And how about this over in Nampa? Carports with their roofs blown off. We took these photos this morning. This happened at the Farstead Apartments. And take a look at this carnage. This is at the River Club in West Boise along the Boise River. Three gigantic pines on the golf course toppled over. These are 30 plus year old pines whose roots because of a really high water table don't need to grow down more than a foot below the surface. And when that burst hit, boom, they were no match. Fortunately for the homes around them, they fell away from the property. No homes damaged, thankfully. All right, let's get over to Bree now to see if uh, that was the end of that. And Bree, you called it last night here on the News at 10 when you predicted there would be downed trees, damage to homes, power outages. All of that happened. Unfortunately for so many, you pegged this one. Yeah, I even said to my husband last night while we were trying to get some sleep, but our toddler was afraid of all the noise that I really can't remember a wind event quite like that. You get those downbursts that come out of a thunderstorm and you can often get some uh, weak spin ups, tornadoes. Usually they're in rural areas, not necessarily here in the Treasure Valley. But this was a long duration wind event that came along with a very powerful cold front that blasted through the area last night. It was hours of intense wind. Take a look at the max wind gusts that were recorded through the area, through southern Idaho. Even up in our mountains, we were seeing wind gusts last night between 40 and 45 miles per hour. The strongest wind gust was recorded in Boise around 1 a.m. at 61 miles per hour. And take a look at Twin Falls, a 70 mile per hour wind gust last night. And it didn't let up until the morning, but once it did, Boy, did you notice how calm it was early this morning before the breeze picked up back up for the afternoon? Our highs today, you might be surprised to see this, low to mid 60s. Well, it actually happened just after midnight last night. And then the cold front came through and cut down our temperatures. We're sitting some 20 to 30 degrees cooler this time today when compared to this time yesterday. So 24 hours ago, we were about 30 degrees warmer than this. Made it up to 82 in Ontario yesterday and now it's feeling like winter. We still have breezy conditions, but the wind headlines have expired. No more high wind warning, no more wind advisory for Southwest Idaho. It is feeling though, because of that Northwest breeze, like it's in the thirties for parts of the Treasure Valley. So feeling like March wants to go out like a lion. Well, March will actually end more like a lamb with spring 70s on tap for the beginning of April. Lots to cover in the seven day forecast. We'll get to those details coming up in just a bit.